Hello friends and welcome to bispsolutions.com with my partner Tricon Technology. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to write calculation in Calculation Manager in Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service. We would be calculating depreciation and the method we are going to use is called straight line depreciation method. So let's get started. Let me first explain you the requirement. We understand requirement, then we build a business calculation manager, and then finally we test it. So in this example, I need to calculate depreciation for these financial elements or these asset types, and they have a different lifespan. For building an improvement, the lifespan is 10 years. It means it will depreciate in 10 years and reach out to salvage value. In this example, we assume salvage or leftover value is zero. Machinery and equipment has five year, furniture has three year, and so on. I would show you this thing live, but I've taken a snapshot over here of my data form. So people will input numbers in different types of assets, and the depreciation would be calculated over here, which is part of your operating expense. Uh, different types of depreciation expenses. So let's get started with understanding the dimension structure first. So you log into your planning and budgeting cloud service, go to your dimension section, then you find your account dimension. Your all capital expenditures are capped under the statistical account. These are different capital expenditures. Uh, your building machineries, furniture, vehicle, and so on. Once depreciation would be done, it would be stored under net income member, which you see under net income. The parent member is total depreciation and amortization. So depreciation expense would be stored over here. So now you understand dimension structure. Let's start creating a business rule for the same. I would be using a straight line depreciation method. And we use SLN function in, in, in planning. Uh, you start with creating a rule. And the rule I'm going to create, I want this rule to be dynamic. And therefore, I use some variable. I want scenario should be plan, fix version and year should be variable therefore it makes sense to create variable first you can go to variable designer and there you can create variable for individual application or global i created application specific variable three variables i have department is 000, zero, zero. version is working version and year is fi13 right you could give a constant as well but i wanted my rule to be dynamic and therefore I use variable. So once you declare variable, the next step, uh, we would refer this variable into our rule. So I'm going to create a new rule, right click and create new rule and define the name of the rule. I would name it as test uh, calculate depreciation. It is for planning application vision and plan one. The next step, you need to set set commands as we used to do in the past, but it is a graphical now and it is more like a wizard. So when you drag and drop, you can set um, it pop up actually a, a wizard where you can define your intelligent calculation, the respective properties whether you like to create block or not and various other option of your set. In this example, I just wanted to specify aggregate missing, hash missing, aggregate missing we use when you want to allocate member from parent to child and you want to make sure that your missing value do not consolidate to the parent or overwrite your parent value. So therefore I use aggregate missing. You save it and exit. And 
you have two option two node over here designer node and script node i love script node i love to write code directly however if you love designer mode you can use designer mode it is more gui and user friendly for new programmer as i want depletion to be calibrated for a specific subsection of your cube therefore i use member range function which is nothing fixed expression so i use member range function and i like to fix it for a specific scenario for plan so i can use variable or member name here i use member name over here for plan and version i use as variable the one which we created in a variable designer mode i select application level and select version as variable select year also as variable so that you can pass this value on the fly dynamically you can hide the prompt as well it is up to you whether you want to display prompt or you want to hide prompt under this nested uh, this fixed expression i also like to apply another fixed expression because i want this whole calculation to take place for a specific entity which is called node entity and no product the depletion is not specific to any entity by default and not for any product so you select entity which is your variable which is a department and 000 is a default value which is called no department and product i'll make it fix no product because i don't use variable i cannot dynamically change the value of it oops i need to use constant click over here use member select no product p000 so that's it let's move to edit mode and make sure the fixed expression applied as we wanted next state fixed expression applied and the one which you see in the curly braces these are variable go back to designer mode now i write formula for straight line depreciation drag and add formula over here and put it within your fixed expression so formula window appears on the left side you define destination the right side you define source i already created source and destination expression and i would be using these expression so 7320 is basically a member under your amortization expenses for building an improvement depreciation so i simply copy and paste now the same way and once it is done i am going to save it i am continue doing it this way simply copy and paste my sln function as you see this sln function takes four argument the first argument is cost member in this example this is building an improvement your salvage value we assume salvage value is zero your lifespan is 120 for 10 years and your range similarly for machinery and equipment the first argument is your asset type the salvage value continue to be zero number of months 60 means 5 year and your optional x range okay seems done save it i create another formula to make sure i limit my calculation only to depreciation members therefore i drag and drop and apply the formula over here the calculation should be taken place 
for all the children of depreciation and capital expenditure so i fix it Seven three double zero is a parent member and capital expenditure. Save it, and you can move to a edit mode for designer mode, and make sure your script get rendered. The script gets rendered. Cross check your double quotes so that you don't make any error. Save and validate. we seems to have some error yeah the double code is missing over here i was just saying make sure your double quotes are properly set anyways this is part of your program writing validate now validate is passed with no syntax error now we do functional testing before that when you deploy this rule validate and deploy so right click we already validate you can debug it as well deploy so it would be visible or available for data forms to be associated in order to test this rule i would prefer to associate with data form and then we test it we'll finally put into our smart view and test it so open your data form now into edit mode from navigator i created one sample data form capital expenditure test plan test added this and there is a business rule section i already associated one business rule i remove it and associate the one which i just now created test calculate depreciation I want this rule to be invoked right after you save it. In case you'd like to hide prompt, you can click on hide prompt. If you want prompt to be asked during your rule run, you can unhide this as well. I don't want it to be asked because it would be a kind of interruption. Okay. So data form associated, this is done. The last step, we would open this data form as smart list input number and test the output so i already created this what you can do you can log into your smart view if you are not if you're new to smart view please watch my video about how to configure smart view and pbcs open your data form right click and open you can open your data form and i would be putting number over here if everything is good business rule would be invoked let's see you can also invoke this business rule from your simplify interface so open your data form put some number and here's your business rule would be executed so let me first make it zero zero roll back all the numbers alternatively you can change the intersection so i make it zero zero and you see the message over here the rule executed successfully now i put some number the calculation take place but to make sure the calculation is correct we would evaluate this into our data form uh, into our smart list okay so in smart list as you see um, i put all this number as zero there are three tabs the calculation done by calculation manager available over here this is the expected output i ran excel base srn function to calculate straight line depreciation so my output and the output rendered by calculation manager should be absolutely identical as a result of this the variance which is difference between both the sheets should be zero okay so let's put some number and invoke the calculation for the sake of simplicity i put 1000 everywhere and this would be calculated for all intersection put number and submit data the depreciation calculated to make sure the number is correct what i do i copy and paste over here and i write straight line depreciation function 
when you read straight line depreciation function it takes three argument first is cost second is salvage value and life changes from asset type to asset type so here the output is 8 and similar fashion for machinery equipment i put it as a 5 year furniture 3 year vehicle 4 year computer 3 year and intangible asset 5 years i ran this rule uh, this calculation in excel and i also have a calculation calculation manager i took the variance between both of them difference as you see difference between calculation manager and expected output and it is zero which represents my output rendered by my calculation manager is functionally correct as well we validate again excel so that's it thanks for watching today's video should you have any question please feel free to write to us